Welcome to On This Day in Cleveland Sports History, January 3rd, 1987. Today I have the Bernie Kozar jersey on in honor of Bernie's performance on January 3rd, 1987. The 1986 Browns were 12-4 and four football team. They were favored against the New York Jets. I was so excited about seeing the Browns win a playoff game, which would have been the first ever in my life, now that I think about it. We don't want to talk about 1980 right yet. I was so excited that I went to Sam's Club and bought my first forehead VCR. That means it had four recording heads, not a VCR. No. The first show I recorded was this game. And I'm glad I did. Because frankly, with four minutes to go, I gave up on the game. The Browns hadn't done much offensively all day. They played pretty well defensively. They bottled up Freeman McNeil fairly well. They had the ball deep in their own territory. They were behind 13-10. And Bernie threw an interception. It was the second of the day. One play later, Freeman McNeil busted loose, 25-yard touchdown, with about less than four minutes to go. It was Jets 20, Browns 10. And I went to get groceries, go to Jungle Gyms, go work out. I don't know where I went, but I left. Fortunately, I left the VCR on. Because Bernie got the ball back, and he drove them the length of the field, ending with a Kevin Mack one-yard touchdown run. Three and out, the Browns got the ball back again, and again he drove them the length of the field, almost winning the game in regulation. They had to settle for a 20 I mean, I don't remember it. 22-yard field goal by Mark Mosley. In overtime, it was all Browns. They drove almost the length of the field, and Mosley missed a field goal from short range. I remember that. Don't know the distance. Finally, in the second overtime, they drove one more time to short range, and while I held my breath, Mark Mosley hit a 27-yard field goal. So wherever I had gone, I came back and watched the last of the overtime and had the entire game recorded, which... I've watched since. On the day, Bernie Kozar, 33 completions for 489 yards. Bernie saved the day, and the Browns moved on in the playoffs, and I had my first playoff victory. And it happened on this day in Cleveland sports history, January 3rd, 1987.